We got the uh, Mark V Super in the back. Shout out to Jack at this point. This is something I want to start doing um, for all my videos now, is doing a shout out for people at the start of the video. Um, so I know Jack likes the Super, so I'm doing a shout out for Jack. He asked me to do one for him. I'm doing it right now. Um, if you want a shout out in the next video, leave a comment on this video and I will pick one of you to get a shout out at the start of the next video. Hey, hello everybody and welcome back to the Moldy Worm Gaming Channel. My name is Moldy Worm 495 and today we are playing Forza Horizon 5. So before we get into the video, I just want to apologise that um, videos on the channel have been a little bit far and few between. Um, there hasn't been a whole lot of games to play recently, but last week I was off for a week and uh, two new games came out, um, well one of them's new, um, which I want to start making videos on for you and there is a few other games coming out in the next week or so. Uh, so we've got Forza Horizon 5 which we're going to be doing a let's play on which we're starting today. We've got um, GTA San Andreas, the remastered version for Xbox Series X. Um, I have downloaded that and I'm going to be doing a retro let's play on that. I still want to make the Simpsons Hit and Run um, Let's Play. Um, I've been talking about that for a while, uh, but that is coming, so just stick with me. And uh, next week we're also going to be getting Farming Sim 2022. So for those of you who like the Farming Sim series here on the channel, I'm going to be covering that. And of course, uh, about a month ago, um, Microsoft Flight Simulator uh, came out on Xbox, which I recorded a video of. And then the video had no audio. So I will go back and record that. I'm going to be doing a bit of a let's play on that as well. So we've got plenty of games to play. So please stick with the channel. Um, I haven't forgotten about making videos. I just haven't had a whole lot of time. And there hasn't really been much to play. Forza Horizon 5 came out last week. It is now available for you to play. If you have Game Pass like myself then you can go ahead and download this for free and play it uh, through Game Pass. Otherwise, I think it costs about £50, which I don't know what that is in dollars and euros. You'll have to convert that yourself. But it's not too bad. It's a new Forza Horizon game. I have already played the game a little bit. Jump into Forza Horizon. Let's do it. And it's in beautiful yellow as well. If I got one of these Broncos myself, I would absolutely have it in yellow. I'm glad they the uh, they put in the two door version as well, not the four door version, the longer one because the four door one I'm not a huge fan of. I'll be honest. But here we go, and that's it. We just drop straight into the game. Um, obviously, I've played Forza Horizon games in the past, so I know how this game works. I have to say. Um, so far, I mean, you've not seen much gameplay yet. Um, obviously we're still in the first, uh, introduction bit here, but, uh, from the gameplay that, um, I've, I've done on my other account, um, the cars drive a lot better, so they don't understeer as much as they do, um, in Forza Horizon 4, um, Obviously, with a bit of uh, expert tuning, you could probably counteract that. But, um, yeah, the cars in this game, they don't understeer as much. When you're drifting and your car is oversteering, it's a lot easier to control. The cars also feel like they have a lot more grip. So, when I'm taking this corner here, I can... Well, I thought I could take it flat. Apparently, I cannot take it flat. Oh... Just as I'm talking about handling, I completely fuck up. Of course I do. This is more my kind of speed. We'll get um, off-roading in the jungle in an off-road Porsche. Yeah, this is more my speed. Here we go. Got a nice big old bridge. 
up ahead that the plane is going to fly under. Holy shit, that plane is flying very, very low. Jesus Christ. There we go, the flamingos are flying away. Beautiful, beautiful scenery. And I'm playing it on the Xbox Series X, for those of you who are wondering. Uh, hopefully the graphics and everything on the video you're watching are you know as high quality as I can get them but the graphics I'm I've got a 4k TV I've got the I'm running this on the series X the graphics are just incredible I mean I thought they were in Forza Horizon 4 but in this game it's just insane how good they are but now we get to drive the AMG one the brand new um, Mercedes AMG car uh, well, I say brand new. I think it came out in 2020. There we go. Under the cargo plane. That cargo plane is flying bloody low. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm not so sure that would be legal. Um, flying it that low above a crowd. Uh, I feel like... Yeah. But it's a game. I get that it's a game. Don't shout at me. I know it's a game. Uh, but we get to pick our car now. So we got the uh, Corvette Stingray Coupe. And it has some Forza Horizon body kit on it. The wide body kit. We've got the 2020 Ford Bronco. And we've got the Toyota GR Supra. The Mark V Supra. I'm going to go with the Supra. Um, you, you get all three of these cars anyway. Um, I should say. So, it doesn't really matter which one of these you pick. It's a damn nice looking car, that Supra. There we go. Get in the car. Oh, and we can change the number plate. Okay, I'll just go ahead and do this real quick. And there we go. Mouldy Worm 41975. Accept. Number plate is on the car. There we go. Beautiful. But here we go. At the first showcase event. Um, I can't remember what you had to do for this showcase event. Oh, you have to race the plane. Um, there's plane with motorbikes in the back and you have to race them. So here we go in the new or the uh, Ken Block um, Hoonigan Escort Cosworth the RS yeah let's just go for it here we go beautiful looking car with the big whale tail fin on the back absolutely gorgeous and we got to race a fucking plane in it. We get to drive through the town now. The town is quite small, I will say, um, compared to previous Forza Horizon titles. The town is very, very small. I believe the town in Forza Horizon 3 was the largest. But there we go. That is our first race done. The showcase event in the Escort Cosworth RS. We finished first with a time of 3 minutes 32 seconds. I don't know whether that's good or not, but came first, so I don't really care. Uh, before we do that, though, I will quickly just show you the map. Um, this is as much as I can zoom out of the map, so I apologise. Um, but you can see what I was talking about. We've got this area up here, the beachy area over here. So you can drive along the beach, and all this is like sand dunes. We've got the off-road racetrack, which is just here. We then have the mountain area over here, which is uh, like a dormant volcano. And you can see there's a bit of snow up on the mountain. Um, and there's some like nice off-road mountain passes to race around. Then we've got the town, which is here. This is the main town area. You can see it's not that large. That's what I was talking about earlier. Um, but we've got some nice kind of uh, grassy field areas around here. We've also got the football stadium. And then uh, we've got the um, sort of tree line area over here. 
and another little town just here uh, on the coast which is really really nice we've got a little bit more beach area and then over here you can see we've got kind of like what would be the Everglades in uh, Florida it's kind of like a swampy area you can race through the swamps which is really really nice and then we've got the airfield down here. So this is kind of where if you were doing some chem block type stuff like drifting around, doing some stunts. There's loads of stunt jumps down here. There's some like broken planes that you can jump off. There's a massive, massive drag strip. Well, it is a runway, but it's uh, basically a drag strip up the middle. We've got another little town over here as well where we just were. And then we have the main festival site just here. And you can see at the main festival site, we have a racetrack here. Um, and we also have the massive motorway that runs from one corner all the way to the other corner. So there is plenty of different um, biomes to go exploring in. Um, I forgot, we also have a quarry area up here, which is really, really cool. Um, but let's head back to the festival. Um, we've got a barn find to go and find. We'll go and get that. Um, the Volkswagen Beetle. Right, the Vocho. We have to find, we've got to help Alessandra find an old car. Um, and this introduces new people who've never played Forza Horizon titles before to the whole barn find system. I'm just arriving at the barn find here. So this is what the barns look like and then inside there is an old Volkswagen Beetle there it is what a beauty absolutely awesome little car I know a lot of people aren't a fan of the old Beetles um, I am a huge fan of the old Beatles. I think they look really, really cool, especially when you turn them into a drag car like that. This is probably one of the only missions in the game where you get to drive this lorry as well. You can't own this lorry, unfortunately. Here we go. Jumping a big ass truck. Nice. My question is can we do a handbrake turn in this truck? Yes, we can. Jesus Christ. I mean, we are on the clock, so I should probably get going. And here we are, back at the restoration shop. And they're going to look after the beetle. They're going to restore it for us. So we can drive it. But here we go. We can now see um, all of the races that we can go and do. So we've got a street race over here, or a circuit race, I should say. We've got a couple of off-road races. So we've got one here. We've got one down here. We've got one here and one here. Um, I'm not going to do any of those in this episode. Uh, I'm going to bang out a few of them probably off-camera. We'll probably do one or two on-camera. Uh, but before I end this episode, um, I do want to show you the um, cars list. Um, so let me just open that up really quick. So if we go over to cars, this is the new menu as well. So we have the campaign, we got cars, it's basically the same as Forza Horizon 4, uh, just looks a little bit different, but the layout is basically the same. If you go into the change car, you can see all of the cars you own. So when I was saying at the start of the video, it doesn't matter whether you pick the Supra, the Corvette or the Bronco, you get all three as you can see. You also get the Escort, which we did the um, showcase event in. And of course, once the Beetle has finished being restored, you get that. Um, but there is also... Um, the car collection tab and this will show you every car that you can own in the game basically so if we run through these um, I'm not going to show every car but you can see some of the brands we got and basically what happens once you get all of the cars in that brand so um, for AMC there is only one car the gremlin once you get that you unlock a prize 
So it kind of gives you an incentive to collect all the cars, uh, but if I scroll through, you'll see that most of the cars are the same ones that we had in Forza Horizon 4. Don't worry if there is a car here that is missing, that you want to see in the game, there is a high chance it will get added in uh, the updates in the future. But just in the bottom corner there, I want to point out as well, you can see there's 534 cars, so not too shabby. Um, I only own four of those so far. Um, but there we go. That is a little bit of an introduction to Forza Horizon 5. It is an incredible, incredible game. If you've played previous Forza Horizon titles, then this is by far the best one. Um, there is no two ways about it. It has the best looking graphics. I love the location. The map is massive, but it also has plenty of different biomes. So there is something for everybody. Um, it's just an absolutely fabulous game. If you haven't played it yet, it is available, as I said, on Game Pass. So go download it. Um, if you haven't played any Forza Horizon 4 before or Forza Horizon titles in the past, Hopefully this video has opened your eyes to what the game is about. It's basically a free mode driving game. There is obviously races to do, um, but a lot of it is just about enjoying the map, enjoying this new Mexico map and driving around in some really cool cars. But uh, that's going to do it for this video. In the next episode, we're going to be customizing some cars, doing some races. Um, so look forward to that coming very soon. I'm also going to be doing the GTA San Andreas Let's Play, which I mentioned at the start of the video. Um, so hopefully you can join me for that. And I'm going to be picking up the videos again. So um, thank you for being patient with me. Thank you for staying subscribed. And to everyone who has joined us as well, really appreciate it. But with that all said, I will see you in the next video.